All right, I got a mesh here and a saw one sub tool, and it's got a gap. You see the circle's a little bit smaller than the rest of it, and it's stuck out. So I want to get that bevel look. Well, I can't use the uh, Dynamesh because it won't fill the gap. I can't use the key measure because it won't fill the gap. So what we're going to do, we're going to do something a little different here. So uh, let's close all this up. And we're going to the morph target and store our morph target. Go to the deformation here. And under the inflate, we're going to put it to the negative. To where they kind of intersect a little bit. I'm going to get close enough. I'm going to go a little extreme here. And when I get done, it's going to look something kind of odd like that. And we're going to come over here and create diff. And we're going to select our diff here. Now it's going to look a little funny because the normals are flipped. So we're going to go to display property and double. This is kind of what I was looking for. My little bevel out there. So my next step would be, uh, I'm going to just use the Dynamesh on this. And let's put Project on here and just crank this up a little bit. Go to Dynamesh it. And I'm gonna check it. And there it is. Voila. Of course, then we can clean it up and just re-cube mesh it. So that's basically how that is done. 